Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of a week of... Actually, actually, welcome to the first episode of a week of Heavy Bullets. I am Jay Smith, and I am on the internet. Heavy Bullets is a first-person roguelite game. Uh, it was created by Terry Vellman. Uh, I remember Nick covered this game a while back, while it was still in alpha, and I liked the description that someone commented, and they said that it was like mixing paranautical activity with receiver. And I don't think that's too far off. It's not quite as in-depth as receiver, and there's no boss battles like in paranautical activity, but... Uh, uh, I definitely see the uh, the art style similarities uh, between like a little bit of mesh of both of those games. It looks really good. Uh, anywho, six dollars grants you the access to the beta in all future versions. You can get the DRM free version from the game's website, Heavy Bullets. Uh, we can check out the options menu if you want. Um, the one hesitation uh, that I have about this game so far is that it doesn't have background music, and I'm not sure if that's if, like if that's like the worst thing. Because if it is, that's not a bad thing to have right now. Um, obviously, it's still in beta. There's going to be music. Uh, there's sound effects already. But I, I want something... I don't know. Like I always feel weird doing like commentary over something without background music. I don't know. Leave some comments and suggestions. Do you want me to do like how I did like MS Paint and just like pull up some generic rock or whatever that YouTube allows me and uh, play that in the background? If you wanted to keep... Being quiet in the background, let me know as well. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, here's the game stats. Um... I currently have $89 uh, stacked to my account right now, which is basically you're allowed to bank the money that you pick up, um, so you can use it in future runs. Uh, elsewise, um, you start basically the beginning of the game with, with no weapons or items or anything, which is typically in roguelike fashion. Um, I've only played the game for half an hour. I've got a few deaths. I've played the game four times, and I killed 106 things, so that's pretty badass. Uh, control simple. Move with WSD. Click to shoot. R to reload. Shift for bombs. E to use and pick up. Space to use item and tab to store item in the backpack. That's something I should think about doing in my runs. I never did that before, but I'll, I'll look into it uh, in a bit. But regardless, I keep my mouse sensitivity at 4.5, which because I think that's a pretty generous amount. Um, you know, when you get any farther up, it really kind of seems like you're you're all over the place with your movements. They're very sporadic. Um, but regardless, I imagine um, all of these videos for this week will probably be around uh, like 20 minutes to half an hour, depending on how far I get. Um, I haven't got past the third level just yet, and look at, check out how, I don't know, it's like groovy or freaky, or like, there's a really interesting art style. Anywho, um, I am going to reload right here, and the reason that you reload the first thing, because you don't have any bullets in your chamber. Um, interesting thing, you only, well, I started with nine, because I think I, I used my life insurance last time, it's a, it's a usable item. Um, you, if you die, or like, my last will and testament, I think, so it leaves like half the possessions that you had in your inventory and let you have them uh, right off the bat. But anywho, I can shoot a bunch of bullets, um, but they'll all come back to me, which is great, um, because I'll need that in my uh, play. So when you originally start, you only start with six bullets, and you have to use those six bullets the entire time unless you pick up more. But the interesting thing is that the bullets are always going to be there for you, like the episode of Friends, in which case it is every episode of Friends that the theme song is playing. Uh, anyways... This is a, it 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 seems kind of like a silly game, and like the graphics aren't are, are pretty basic, but it's a game that you need to pay attention to. It's very detail oriented in the sense that the enemies are relentless, and if you're not paying attention to every little thing on the ground, you might end up getting bit by a snake on your asshole, and that is no good for anybody. Um, but here's our first enemy. He's gonna run at me, but I'd, he's pretty easy. Those those are my favorite enemies because they generally they'll they'll yell at you. Like they'll give their their position away once they kind of see you and then they'll start kind of like slowly lumbering to you and then you just pop them in the face. That's no big deal. Um here is our first area of choice that we could, you know, go left over there, or right over here, but eventually they'll probably both lead back to the same place. So let's press E right here. Every once in a while, when you pop this open, there might be an enemy right beyond the door, so that's something you got to be careful of. There is a bunch of these vending machines kind of plopped along uh, throughout the uh, the entirety of the game. Sometimes they're bullets, sometimes they're uh, like life insurance machines, and sometimes they're like health machines. Uh, but regardless, I only have $5, you can see in my lower left-hand corner. Can't pay for anything right now. Uh, not that I would exactly get anything. Maybe the backpack, but that's still a pretty hefty price. I'm not sure if it's completely worth it. Uh, there is our snake friend, but he is dead now. And we have... Uh, 
Oh, you hear that? Yep, there you go. So even they'll they'll even kind of aggro if you're near them, even against the wall. Okay. So here's the the shittiest enemy so far in the game. Uh, when I go around this corner, we could see that uh, I don't know some sort of machine turret, um, but has this green block beside. If I shoot the green block, it dies. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna kill that guy too. Uh, there's something weird about the uh, the impact for some of the bullets. It, it seems like um, it's good because this turret shouldn't have hit me because I was behind this column, but you can still kind of see it, the, the bullet firing through it, although it doesn't hit me. Um, it's kind of weird to see the bullet actually. Oh god, there's another, another turret. So let me just sneak around to the side of this corner, pop that, and no problem whatsoever. You can't exactly do that every time. Um, sometimes they're pretty uh, well guarded on certain sides and advantages, and so can't quite see it around the whole time. So here's the med bay. Um, I can heal useless for me right now at full health. Focus pills will basically like kind of zoom me in and uh, I guess I, you know, I, I used the one time wasn't that worth it. Um, repellent, I had it one time but I wasn't exactly sure what it does and I don't want to stick around with enemies too much. Uh, I did notice that the snake people still attacked me or they at least aggroed. I'm not sure if it prevents them from running at me or if it slows that down but you know I don't want to really take my chances because I don't know what it does and I think that's a that's a perfectly fine thing to not care about in this game um I don't want to like test it you know essentially going back over here we have more bullets so I can get homing bombs red potions or run shoes I can only afford the bullet right now but as I already have uh, a bunch uh six and plus nine. <laughs> um, I have around like 15 bullets so far. I don't think I really need too much more. Uh, the the little bleeps and bloops that you're probably hearing right now is when I shoot a, a bullet, um, the way that you basically you, you tend to see where your ammo is is that it'll jump every once in a while and hop up in the air. That way you know where it's at. And the same thing uh, with coins that happen to uh, be dropped by enemies as well. You see those jumping around in the air, you know that's something that is of value to you, and then you can kind of pick it up and continue along with your life. Um, still going through the first level here. Haven't found the... Uh, essentially, the uh, the levels end with uh, kind of like a hatch. And I'm totally going to steal this from Nick's comment section, but it was kind of like the, the hatch from uh, uh, Lost. Except it just kind of takes you down. So here is why that we here's why we pay attention to the game, and like uh, I I seriously have problems paying attention like uh, to minute details. But if I didn't see this thing, I would have gotten I would have got bit by this little worm creature in there, and he would have poisoned me, and I would have had not a good time. But with this game, there, there's something you know. There's I guess there's not too there's it's a lot of static environments. So if you see something just kind of like wiggling around, you basically know right then and there that it's no good and you should need to put a bullet in its brain. Uh, speaking of bullets and brains, let's go over here and pick up this focus pill so then we'll press space to activate that and like I said, it kind of gives you a zoomed in view. I'm not sure if it stays this way for long, it'll probably go back. Yeah, it does. So the focus pill has worn off. It only lasts about, uh, what, what was that, like five seconds, maybe? Um, anywho. We're going to keep on going. My, there's something wrong going weird with my exploit right now. I hope it's not acting up too much, but uh, I guess I'll see in post what's going on with that. But uh, in any case, how about I do this? Um, there we go. Close out of all of that. And now maybe it should be good. Oh, God. Going up, down, and all around. All right, so now we're back. Um, sorry about that. I'm just obviously the the most professional man that ever played video games in the world. Uh, the bank last will, uh, which I believe keeps all of my uh, items, or at least most of my items, in check. So like my bullets kind of will stay from one round to the next. Um, discount card is pretty self-explanatory. I think it. Well, let's see. Discount card. It just ramped up my price. I don't know about all that, but did these go down in prices? I wasn't really paying attention. Anywho. Let's uh, go in here, open up this door, and whoa, that was close. Uh, make sure that I'm always reloading. A, B, R, always be reloading. Now, I don't see any sausage worms on the ground, which is a good thing for me. Um, but here's a snake right over there. Still got full... Oh, oh 
glad I didn't go this way. That guy would have scared the bejesus out of me. Um, but we can open up this door, anywho. And we've already been to this side, but we don't really need it. Pick up coins and bullets off the ground. Um, make sure to look out for sausage dongs. Doesn't look like there's any around here, so let's just run around and try to pick up all of this ammo and coins as we can and continue on. Is that something over there? It doesn't look like it. Oh! There was a guy right there. I'm really happy I saw him. Um, but pretty lucky that he didn't kill me sooner, so that is good. Nothing through here. Careful as I open up doors. Never know what's going to be behind them. And it's going to be pretty okay in this general area. There's one more door right here. Oh. Yep. <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> so this game has definitely some, some creep factors as well. There's three. Oh, okay. Um, key card required. Behind that door will most likely be a... Uh, an item that we can use uh, later on. Um, but to access that, we're going to have to find a pink key card from somewhere on this level. Uh, sometimes I can't find the key card, sometimes I do. If I don't, then I just, if I find, it really depends on like what I find first. If I find the exit um, and I don't find the key card, I'm not really going to spend too much time looking around for it. I'll probably just go down to the next level. But anyways, $42. I can buy almost everything, but there's not too much that I really see here that will be beneficial. I don't know what the red potion does. Maybe sometime during this Let's Play, I'll, I'll actually try to find that out. But until then, I think I'm pretty good being on my own. Just want to be sure that I'm looking all around for bad guys. And I'm sure there's going to be something lingering in... One of these bushes. Heal, speed pills, silver life. I really like silver life, so um, I'm actually going to get that. And basically, it, uh, how do I explain that? It, it's it's kind of like a shield. It's a one-time use shield. If I get hit, uh, it'll take the shield. It won't take me. Uh, it'll get rid of the, the silver heart, but I won't get damage, which is I think it's a pretty fair trade-off, especially for $22. That's not too shabby. Um, I think that's a turret, yeah. And so I can't see... Yep, there we go. So every once in a while, it puts the turret in a position where I can't quite see the... Uh, I don't know, the, the battery pack that you have to destroy to kill it. So what I just try to do is um, bait it to shoot, go out beside it, and try to shoot it again before it kills me. Uh, here is our hatch. So we can go down there eventually. Here's another key card slot. Wasn't able to find the key card. Um, I don't think I've ever found the key card in the first level before. Uh, and because this is a rogue light, uh, all levels are going to be different um, every time that you play. Let's just continue down to our next level here and see what we can do. Um, every time that you go down a level, it seems to be that there's going to be some new bad guys that you have to worry about. So I'll be on my uh, toes here and try to work my way around. Is this just going in circles? Okay, it is. Nothing back there. Lots of variety and like lots of holes in the in the walls. Lots of places to get turned around. Um, and plenty of shrubbery for enemies to hide in as well. But that's the thing about this game. There's lots of little nooks and crannies and grannies to look around in. You, know, you never know where the enemies might be hiding. There's enemies later. Oh, son of a! Bitch holes, and I didn't even see that thing until way later. But luckily, don't get stuck out there. Alright, luckily, I had that silver heart. Didn't take any damage um, for me, other than having to get rid of the, the heart. But I think it's a worthy cause. Pretty sure I saw that. Is that another turret all the way back there? Kind of looks like it. Ow, it hit me. Okay, so. Let's just be careful here. Maybe I'll be able to see it. Oh, kind of, sort of, but not really. There we go. All right, it's gone. I did lose one heart. Is that a... No. All right. So i got to be pretty careful from here on out. Down one heart. It's not the worst thing in the world. There is ways to get uh, your health back, but it does cost money. Um, now I'm just looking for little sausage fingers on the ground. I don't want to get murdered or eaten or my dick chopped off. It seems to be... Oh god, I heard something. 
Oh no! There, there's, it's, it kind of turns into a twitch and scary shooter if you, if you let the game, uh, kind of proceed on by itself. Oh, oh, look at that! I got a knife. Awesome. So, uh, now I have uh, another way of attacking without resorting to uh, use all my bullets. So in case I do lose all, uh, what is it, like 15 of my bullets, I'll be able to kind of like have a backup um, just by pressing space. I have not killed anything with the, with the knife yet. I'm actually pretty intimidated on doing that. I don't want to mess up and get my health injured without uh, needing to. But I think we're pretty safe to continue on through here. So in here, I do hear some coins and stuff bouncing off the ground, so I'm fairly sure I missed something back there, but uh, what is this? A red potion, space to activate. That healed me? I think that healed me. I now have three health, so... Shaisa Manelli, mother's piss. Alright, take care of that. The turrets are bad. Don't like turrets. Oh god, there's another one right there. But luckily... Oh, said luckily I can take care of its little battery box and continue on mostly unharmed there is a big sausage where that was intense alright this is fine I think I'm good now I can pick up some of these coins and stuff without having to get murdered um, heal for 24 no thank you I have 108 so I get max life up maybe um, you know, why not? Let's just, let's do that. Let's throw caution to the wind. There's going to be a long freaking episode. Uh, I hope. Uh, because I want to win. I've only, like I said, and like have you seen on my stat screen, I've only played the game, like, I think four times. So this is my fifth. Uh, it would be pretty nice to see some of the later levels, but, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Take care of these guys. Uh... I'm definitely paying a lot more attention during this playthrough, which is not the case in all of the games that I do. And I guess, you know, I'm, I'm sure I missed something. Like, oh, gee, Smith, I, I saw the pink key. I can't believe you missed it, you you butthead. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. Oh, did I get it? No, I missed it. There we go. So now it's dead. Uh, Is that? Yep, yeah, he's dead as well. Just shot his head off. Now, still got to be cautious, still got to be careful. Anything could be lingering in these tall grasses, and obviously, oh, fudge. Finding these turrets everywhere is not beneficial to my health. Uh, but the cat things, I, I, I think that they're cat things? I don't know. The weird snake cats die pretty easily again. Uh, oh, God, something's going to happen here. Yep. I heard him coming a mile away. Luckily, I picked the uh, the proper direction that he was hiding in. Now, I shouldn't be running into this brush and debris as I've been doing. There's something back there, so I do want to make sure that I'm being cautious and careful. A homing bomb might be worth it because I never used the damn knife. I'll test it out. I know I could press shift and use like a grenade or something. I don't really see the point of doing that. It's short range. Uh, maybe the blast radius is okay, but for the most part, I would rather just not have it. Um, what is this? This is a mega bomb. I guess it's a little bit bigger. Uh, homing missile. All right, let's just use homing bomb. If I get stuck behind some sort of stupid trap or um, what, is it, like a turret, I might need to use it a little bit more than like a mega bomb. I hope. Anywho, um, heal 24, speed pill 16, reload plus, um, and I think that reloads a lot more into my chamber in one go. Yeah, so I just reloaded three at a time. I guess that's not really necessary, but so necessary, um, I don't know. I, I, I need something to spend my money on, right? So, d oh, careful. Missed. Missed. There we go. As long as you shoot the batteries, you'll be in good shape. And if you don't shoot the batteries, you're gonna have a not a good time. Anything back here? There's gonna be something back here, I'm sure. Yeah, there he is. No problem. Oh, fudge! Didn't see the turret. Didn't see the turret. Uh... 
can't really see that way, so let's see if there's a, a back way to get to there. Doesn't look like it, but we can uh, drink that potion, pick up the homing bomb, and we'll figure out some way to do this. Can't even... <sighs> that was close. Luckily, that was right in the middle, or right in front of it. The battery box I'm obviously talking about. Uh, in front of the turret, that makes life a lot easier. Uh, not seeing any sausages around here, but I'm still worried and scared that they might exist. And I don't want to die. Uh, one thing that I would love to have right about now is um, the magnet ability. Whether for bullets or for uh, coins. Helps me out tremendously. Dumb, still haven't seen any of it yet. Uh, do I want run shoes? I think I'm pretty comfortable with my, the speed that I'm running. I don't think there would be any more need to go faster. Um, bombs and bullets, no thanks. I think I'm, I'll be okay. Maybe if I find a... Uh... Oh, what's back here? No, nothing? Okay. Um, maybe if I find uh, like a banking one, I can buy some health insurance or even uh, my last will and testament, which will carry some of my items over to the next playthrough. Now, level 3, as I've said before, I've never gotten past level 3, and I'm a little bit scared of it, to be completely honest. Uh, my game's kind of freaking out over here. Uh, there we go, maybe. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit better. Alright. Oh, God! Those things scared the shit out of me. Uh, the, they're the, these kamikaze, angry mushrooms... And they do nothing except explode on my face, which I'm really surprised I didn't die right there. I think that was a... Was this some sort of machine that is now broken because of that? I guess so. Um, and anyway, I, that was the first time I've ever killed the kamikaze machines before they've uh, blown me up. So that was that's exciting that I can do that. Anything else back here? Just coins it looks like. Don't need coins, though, so we will continue our journey forward into lands unknown. Now, did I go back here? Oh, son of a... Boo-boo-boo <laughs> scared the balls out of me. I swear, if this was, like, face cam rage through scare cam, you would be like, Josh, I wish you... This game freaks me out game is able to freak me out and I think that's a good it's a good like testament to how good a game is if it's able to scare me um not that I am like a super badass and don't get what the fuck was that um and don't get scared but like it, I think it if you get scared it means that you're the immersion is there it means oh that there's something there that kind of drag you into the game uh and drag you farther into the game as well hopefully all those things stay there I'm going to come around and try to circle around through here. And maybe there'll be something I can do. There's one of the exploding creatures. Big bee hanging around the air. Now, there's that. Okay. Hopefully that's all the turrets in this room. Is that something? No. Okay. Just kind of looks like some of the things on the ground are moving. But I th think that's mostly my peripheral vision or, or something happening. Okay. But I don't see any sausages, which is good. That's the most important thing. Let's get this. I think that's a sausage right there, yeah? And more bullets. I'm losing. I think I'm probably going to lose a few bullets on this area. Most because I have no idea where I shot. Uh, here's some coins, bullets, coins. whoop de doo I have a hundred coins, though, so that is good for me. Let's grab all of this stuff. Okay, so. Um, last will. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, and life insurance. And that will carry over to next round, so I'll be able to open up the bank and withdraw a lot of my funds. Um approximately around like the $30 that I spent on getting it. Uh, discount card, 72, last will, 24, you have a last will, so I'll be fine with that. Continuing on, let's open this, and, oh, son of a 
beehole. Ow. Takes off half a health. I'm still fine. Any sausages around here? Doesn't look like it. What is this? Bullets? Um, mine. Nope. Don't care. Uh, reload and... Son of a... Dong holes. Be careful. Kill that thing. And move on. See, world three is... Or level three is where I start getting real bad. Oh, Jesus, I didn't see it. Didn't see it. Didn't see it. And I am poisoned. Please don't kill me. I want to stay alive. Is there a red potion in here? Mine, bomb, run shoes. Oh, guess not. Um, hopefully the poison doesn't kill me. No. All right, good. Poison has worn off, but I'm not convinced that I will live through this. Um, what is that? Repellent passive effect. I don't want that, but I will take the last will. Okay. I see that. I see you. There's another one back there as well. I'm not sure if I can hit it, though. There we go. I think I might have killed something in front of me as well. Uh, maybe there's a sausage or something. Can't see. Something! Oh! And <laughs> I think that was one of the kamikaze things. <gasps> oh well, I reached level 3. 76 kills, that's not too bad. Insurance deposit, $28. Inheritance deposit, 55 So I'm happy with that. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. Uh, obviously, leave comments, feedback, suggestions, whatever you want in the comment section below. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Jay Smith, and I'm on the internet. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Later.